Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're going to take a look at the Sonos Play Bar and the Sonos Wireless Subwoofer. Now I've been getting a lot of requests to check this out, so let's check it out. Now the main question everybody been asking me is which one is better, this or the Bose SoundTouch 300? Well, asking me that is the same as asking which one is better, a Ferrari or a Lamborghini? They're both dope, and you're gonna be happy with either one of them. Now there's a few things that you gotta think about before you buy one of these systems. Basically four things. Number one, the price. Now the Sonos Play Bar is gonna run you 650 bucks, and the Sonos Subwoofer is also gonna run you 650 bucks. So you're looking at $1,300 for the setup. Now if you buy the Bose SoundTouch 300, that one's gonna be $1,400 for the setup. So right out of the gate, $100 savings with the Sonos. Now $100, that might not seem like a big deal, but if you're on a tight budget, 100 bucks is 100 bucks. That could be the difference between eating Raymond noodles and eating good for the rest of the month. Next, the name. You got Sonos versus Bose. Now I'm old school, I've been rocking with Bose for the last 20 years, never had any problems. So I'm gonna go with Bose. But a lot of new school cats, they like Sonos. I got a few Sonos products too. Never had any problems with that. It basically boils down to which one you like better, which brand you feel more comfortable with. Next, the satellite speakers. Now, if you buy the Bose SoundTouch 300, there's only one set of speakers that you could get to complete the surround sound. You gotta get the Bose Virtually Invisible 300s. That's the only ones that are connected to the system. Now, if you buy the Sonos Play Bar, you can get the Sonos P1s and you can connect as many of those as you want. So that's a major difference right there. If you're looking for full surround sound, you're gonna wanna go with the Sonos because theoretically, you could get five Sonos P1s and have a crazy surround system. And lastly, the look. Which one looks better? Now you gotta remember, this is not just a sound bar, this is kinda like a piece of furniture. You're gonna have this in your living room or your bedroom. It's gonna be right underneath your TV. So every time you're watching TV, you're gonna be looking at it. So which one looks better? Now, my personal opinion, I like the Bose because of that tempered glass look on the top, plus it's all black. But you might like the Sonos with the black and aluminum look. It all depends on which one you like better. All right, so let me grab the subwoofer. Let me change the camera angle and we'll pop these open and see what it looks like. All right, y'all, so here we go. Let's look at the play ball first, okay? Big giant box, nice looking presentation. Let me grab a little knife. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Now inside, here's your play ball. See anything else? Got another little box right here. Got your usual books and shit. We're gonna save those. Here's your power cord, optical cable, and this looks like ethernet cables. All right, so that's pretty much it. Now for the sound bar, let's see. Okay, wrapped in cloth, I like that. Okay, here we go. Nice and heavy, I know, <laughs> that's what she said. Here we go, okay. Now, this looks totally different than the Bose Sound Touch with the aluminum and glass. This has like a cloth lining on the top. On the bottom, you got some mounts right here so you can mount this to your wall. Let's see on the back. Okay, so here's your AC adapter. You got an optical input and your two ethernet connections. That's pretty much it. On one side, let's see, you got your playing pause, volume up and down, LED light, and nothing on the other side. Now there's nine speakers inside of this sound bar. Okay? Looks nice though. This is how it's gonna look when you have it set up. Like I said, <laughs> looks is important for me. The Bose, in my opinion, looks better, but this one definitely doesn't look cheap and it's definitely heavy and feels like a good quality. All right, so let me grab the uh, base module and we'll see what that one looks like. All right, here we go. Now here's the wireless sub. 
35 pounds. All right, so pretty heavy. Let's see. Inside, quick start guide. Here's your power cable. Get some uh, Velcro stoppers. Okay, microfiber cleaning cloth. And here's the tool. Okay, now this thing is super heavy. Here we go. All right. Whew, now this is heavy. <laughs> Knife cloth, cloth protection on this. Now this looks dope. I ain't gonna lie, this one looks dope. Base module, this one actually might look better than the Bose version. Sound bar, I'm going with the Bose, but the base module, this one looks dope. All glossy. All right, that's why you're gonna need that microfiber cleaning cloth. You can see two, two base uh, speakers on the inside. Let's see. Okay, that's a button right there. We'll figure that out in a minute. On the bottom, sub. All right, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> pretty much it on this. Look-wise, this looks dope though. Now they say you could have this standing up like this or you can lay it down flat. Your choice. Little Sonos branded on the front. Okay, so whew, what I'm gonna do now, let me carry all this stuff upstairs. I'll connect it to a TV and we'll do a little sound test and we'll also check out the app. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now there's the sound bar, there's the wireless sub, and there's the TV. Connection on this, real simple. All you have to do is plug everything in, download the app, and pair it up. Now, one other major difference that I forgot to mention between the Sonos and the Bose, the Bose came with a remote control. The Sonos doesn't. Now, is that a big deal? No, because you're gonna be able to use your TV remote control to control the Sonos. Now, let's take a look at the Sonos app real quick. Download this onto your Android or your iOS device. Open it up. Let's go to settings. Now, you got your Sonos favorites your playlist, music that's on this phone, your tune-in radio. You can add music services like Amazon, Google, iHeartRadio, whatever you want. There's your TV settings, alarm, help, and settings. Now let's click on TV real quick. Now that's the interface. Now you got a few different features right here. One of these is speech enhancement. Now when you click on speech enhancement, what that does is whatever movie you're watching, it's gonna uh, amp up the vocals which is pretty good. So if you're watching a movie that has a lot of dialogue and a lot of fast language, then you want to turn that on. You also have night mode. Now, if you turn on night mode, that's going to be perfect for something like what I'm watching right now, Black Hawk Down. What that does is it's going to lower the sounds of the explosions and the gunshots and all of that. So this way you can still play a louder volume, but turn down some of those extra crazy scenes. And on the bottom, there's your volume slider. All right, so let's do a little sound test right here. I got my favorite movie queued up for doing sound tests, Black Hawk Down. Here we go. All right, let me get some volume on this. Sounds crazy. First three vehicles down up, we're going back to base. Go down! He's dead. <laughs> I love this movie. All right, on a scale of one to 10, 
This setup is incredible. Just as good as the Bose. That's why I said if you're gonna compare the two, sound wise, they both sound amazing. The subwoofer, I don't know if this speaker is doing it any justice, but the subwoofer has the whole floor shaking. Now you're not gonna be listening to a movie this loud. Well, maybe you will. I got it on max volume, but this is way too loud and it sounds crazy. Now, one of the main features why you would get the Sonos as opposed to the Bose, if you want surround sound, you can get as many Sonos P1s as you want. Now I'll do an updated video later. I just wanted to hear how this one's gonna sound. I'll get about three Sonos P1s. We'll spread them out and we'll see how they sound. But look wise, I'm going with the Bose for looks. Sound wise, they both sound the same, incredible. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rope. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces.